what is up my dudes it's ariel if you know me or if you don't know me still ariel today i'm gonna be unboxing some stuff i purchased online at various miscellaneous places but they're all secondhand most of it is from poshmark surprisingly although i'll probably title this a depop unboxing i've been doing a lot of poshmark shopping so i have stuff from poshmark i think mercari depop and one thing from the real real all of it secondhand so yeah you guys know the drill let's just get into it Remember when I said you won't see the pink scissors again? I was right. But the thing is, these aren't the pink scissors, but they're worse. You know that meme, I'm not like other girls, I'm worse? These aren't like pink scissors, they're worse. So I'll probably cut out the parts where I'm struggling to open the package, cause who cares? So yeah. I will say where I got them from, and potentially the seller name and how much I paid for it, if I can recall or edit it on the screen. And yeah, let's just get into it. This first package is from Poshmark. No idea what any of these are, I probably have a about 10 packages we're gonna open today. So we'll just see. Thank you. Now, this is super cool actually, iridescent. I feel like on Poshmark, they really go above and beyond with the packaging. Like the moms, they know how to package. I can't. Oh, okay, this is what I thought it was. So I got all this stuff within the past three weeks. Some of it more recent than others, but this I got maybe a week or two ago. It's this Rampage top. It's vintage. It just has this paisley design, which I thought was super pretty on the front and back. It's actually really soft as well, which I'm surprised by. And it has a beautiful lacy trim around the neckline. And then this silver O-ring at the bust. Usually I would not get something like this because I don't really like low cut tops I feel like they don't really do me any favors I don't hate them but I don't actively look to buy them but I really just liked the pattern on this and the scalp trim around the neckline so I was like why not I believe it was eight dollars also has some ruffles on the sleeves I don't know I just thought it was super cute I think it would look really good with a denim maxi skirt I don't have one yet but in theory you know or maybe even a cargo skirt but with some tall leather boots oh actually I purchased this to go with a pair of boots that is going to be in this that I have to open. Okay, I'll open them next just for you. All right, moving on. I believe these are the boots because it's the biggest package. So I'm going to open them so you could see the vision I had. Dun, 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 dun. I was right. You probably can't tell yet, but I was right. These are the boots. Las Botas. <laughs> Here they are in all their glory. Like like exactly i don't even have to say anything you get it they go perfectly with this shirt as well which is a sleigh they're just a stiletto boot they have this big buckle across the toe and then a small kitten heel and they're pink suede they're everything i wanted to wear this top with a skirt and then these knee-high boots like that's a serve your honor that's a serve your honor i'm slaying so yeah that's why i got them and they were cheap like they were cheap i think they were ten dollars they were listed at 15 I offered eight and she countered with 10 and now they're mine. They're so cute Also, I got them in a size 10 because I have like two or three other pairs of stiletto pointed toe boots like this But they're a size 9 which I think is my true size But for the life of me I can't wear the other boots I have for more than 15 to 20 minutes before they start hurting terribly Especially on my pinky toes and I think that's because I have to size up since they're so narrow So I sized up hopefully it will work out in my favor things always do Next, moving on. Don't know what this is or where this is from, but we'll see. Ah. Oh, okay, I know what this is. I got this on Depop. It's so tiny, but it's actually a dress. It's pretty basic. The cut isn't anything crazy. And it's just like, I guess this is also paisley. I guess I'm on a paisley kick. Or I don't know what this is printed, but it reminds me of a tablecloth, literally. But it's Stussy. I don't know if you could see the embroidered logo right here. It's not really obvious, but I figured I'd pick it up as a little dress for the summer. I would say I don't have much summer clothes, but that's cat. But it feels like I don't have much summer clothes because when I moved, I only brought my winter clothes and now it's up to me to wait for my dad to be in the mood to drive me and my summer clothes back to my apartment there's no saying when that will happen so i wanted to get a little dress thought it was cute i've seen it before actually and i wanted it but it was sold out it was also pretty expensive retail for what it was i believe it was at least 60 dollars, and it's nothing special it's not even lined but i think it would look cute with a little white baby tee underneath some sneakers or even my docs and lacy socks 
box. Such an easy fit. And I like that it's a decent length. It's not super short because I'm very tall. So on me, this will probably be shorter, but on the model, it was a decent length. So I was like, yeah, this is doable. Wear it to the park, wear it out, wear it around. You know the vibes. So that's that dress. Next thing, this is also from Poshmark. I said I did a lot of Poshmark shopping and I was not wrong. I feel like these days on Depop, the sellers be hiking, hiking their prices. Mainly I'll shop on Depop now for a very specific item that's more current or handmade stuff. A lot of sellers hand make their own stuff and then sell it on Depop. But for vintage stuff, I'm better off looking elsewhere, literally anywhere else. See, I told you the moms on Poshmark know how to package. Look at this cute little note. It says, thank you very much for your purchase. Shop at Brands for you anytime. Get your promo, girl. Anyways. Okay, I'm hyped for these actually. On Poshmark, I found these shorts. They do look a little big, but they'll probably fit. I feel like they'll fit. These are by the brand LEI, which is a vintage brand I really like. I don't even know if these specifically are vintage. They were probably from the early 2010s. Honestly, they look like something you'd get at Macy's or JCPenney in 2012. But they're just a khaki color and they're a long short, almost like a culotte or like a gacho. They're super long. They'll probably meet me around knee length. And this is the vision I had for these. These, my Adidas Sambas, white socks, scrunched down, a white tank top, or literally any little tank top or baby tee. So effortless, like so effortless. They're a nice long short and they're super low rise. So I think that they'll fit at my waist. Hopefully they will. They're size nine, but you know, vintage and older sizing is different. Two little buttons here. I just think they're dope. Kind of a skater look, cause I'm not doing the short shorts this year. Like I'm not. I feel like I say this in every video, but especially not living in the city. Do you know how disgusting it is to sit on the subway seat? Like I can't even think about it. So all of my shorts or dresses need to be long enough to where I can sit and not have my legs touch. Or else I'll just be standing all summer, which is also not it. But yes, moving on, we have this, which I don't even know where this is from. It's not from Poshmark, so I'm guessing it's from Depop, but let's see. I see what it is. I'm so hyped for this. Ah! Okay, I'm so excited for this. Either you'll get it or you won't. I feel like you'll get it, but I paid too much for it. I need to hear you validate it and say, yeah, you paid a lot for it, but it's an epic shirt and it's worth it because I have my doubts in my mind, but just being able to see it right now, I know it was worth it, but I need you to tell me it's worth it. Do you get it? Okay. I can't tell if that smells good or bad. It's like a warehouse, old musty warehouse mixed with freshly washed laundry. So I'm like, does this smell good or does it smell bad? Anyways, this is what I got. It's so big, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Why is it so big? It's a large. Well, I guess Stussy runs oversized, but it's the Stussy Stones tea. It has a bunch of different stones on it, and it says something like spirituality and physical health. Epic. Just an epic tea. I saw this originally on TikTok. Megan Trong had it, and I was like, how have I never seen this Stussy tea before? I need this. It's the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen, and I couldn't find it anywhere. She got hers from Depop, but she lives in the UK, so so it's like different. But since I saw it, I was looking for it. She paid 30 for her, so I was like, I could probably find it and not have to pay too much. But no, I paid around $55 for it, but I think it's worth it. Okay, picture this. A cargo skirt, my Birkenstocks, this. Such an easy little look. I'm a little scared about the fact that it's white because if I'm wearing it in the summer, I don't want it to get sweat stains. That's just not cute. And I feel like white can get discolored easily, but I just love it. Hopefully it won't be so oversized when I try it on, but I think it's epic. I feel like it's just one of those shirts I'm gonna throw on so much. And I really just like the graphic. As soon as I saw it, I was like, you know, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt, but I have to get it for my own well-being. So yeah, let me know your thoughts if you love it. Do do not let me know your thoughts if you think I wasted $55 on it. I'm secure in my purchase though, honestly. Am I? Because I keep talking about it. I don't know, but yes, I love this shirt. Even with those khaki shorts I just showed, kind of serve. Next up, this is from Poshmark. Little 
thank you note. Oh, and it shows what it is, so I know what it is. Curious to hear your thoughts on this. I don't know about this personally, but I suppose if I don't really like it on me, I could sell it on Depop. I got this dress. It's a brown lace with a pink underlay. And then on the bottom, it has a thicker tool poking out the hem. I don't know. I have some brown soda chunky shoes. They look like the Unif Seek shoe, I think. So that's what I was thinking of wearing it with and some pink socks, super easy for the summer. I like that it's a tank dress and it doesn't have sleeves. So I don't have to worry about sweating as much. Much. But yeah, here's why I bought it. So it's by the brand Three Pink Hearts by Trixie. And I was watching Internet Girl, iGirl, her dialing how she's putting together style bundles. And there was a fairy core bundle and she got this exact dress. She added this exact dress for the girl in the bundle. And I was like, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Also, her bundles are around $350. So I was like, if I could find this for, I think it was a stitch for around $12 and I offered eight and they accepted. The thing is though, Poshmark has $7 shipping, so it ended up being around $15 anyway, if not more. I don't know the amount. So I'll have to see how it looks. It is kind of a deep V, which I don't know how I feel about that. But yeah, I definitely probably want to wear a cardigan over it or something. But I think it could be cute. If not, I'll throw it up on my Depop. But really, I just bought it on Impulse. I made the offer on Impulse after seeing Internet Girl's video. Everything she found that I thought was cool, I was just like, oh, I wonder if I could find this for really cheap on like eBay or Poshmark. That was the only thing I could actually find. So I was like, yeah, I should cop. But I'm curious to see how it will look on. And that's that. Next up, this is my package from The Real Real. I actually had it delivered to my parents' house, so I had to go and pick it up. I was tempted to open it there, but I was like, no, let me save it for you guys. So it's pretty good, I think. Just the package stuff and stuff. Comes in the little dust bag, which I appreciate. I love how they package their stuff. I've shopped there like a decent amount of times. It's good for getting stuff that would be sold for a lot, even secondhand on Depop and stuff, but would definitely definitely be a lot more if you got it retail. So for that reason, I'll shop on the real real here and there when I can afford it or when I see a good deal or something really good price. And this is what I got this time around. This is a Rick Owens dark shadow biker jacket, but it's cotton. This part kind of folds over at the neckline. Then there's some ribbing under the arm on the underside. I don't know, thought it was pretty cool. Got it for around $80 including shipping, which I think is a good price. Dark shadow is a sub label of Rick Owens so dark shadow stuff is not as expensive but when I was looking online some dark shadow biker jackets go for over 1k so yeah I figured I'd pick it up I have maybe three or four other Rick pieces excluding my shoes but they're all from the real real because I find that even on Depop it's super expensive also I don't know I feel kind of weird buying Rick Owens and stuff on Depop like super higher end stuff because I feel like it might be fake and I've bought fake things in the past accidentally and it's literally the most annoying thing ever so I I prefer to just get what I can from places like the real real and even consignment stores here in the city I'm sure I could find some cool stuff but yeah slowly building my Rick collection I think it would look good with the Rick dress I also got on the real real curious to see how it looks on definitely definitely needs an iron or like a steam I finally just ordered a steamer yesterday my wake-up call was someone commenting on a picture of mine hey super cute fit like love the tea but you should iron your clothes <laughs> which is like okay but i mean it worked like you're right but yeah pretty cool pretty cool kind of like a wash look i think the fit is gonna be everything what makes it unique what makes it cool so i feel like you have to see turtle next up this is also from poshmark big shocker here oh that's so cute look at the little sticker she put on it it's a bunny so cute i miss my bunny so much not my bunny my sister's bunny but since i moved i don't get to see him anymore which is so sad oh that's so cute the packaging matches the item i feel like the bunny i actually wanted to wear this on easter which has passed already but i hadn't opened it yet and also i didn't really do much for easter anyway but i got this little set from poshmark i think this was around 10 ish dollars but it's by moda international which is a vintage brand whose stuff i really like off the bat this is just amazing quality it's so thick i definitely won't have to worry about it being see-through or anything and it's a high neck little dress i think it's gonna be super cute i like the cut a lot and it seems like the perfect length it'll be pretty short but i feel like that's what will make it work and then it came with this matching cardigan of the same color and print and it has just one single button so you could button it or leave it open i think i'd wear a button with the dress underneath just cute first of all that's a whole outfit second of all that's so cute 
cute. Very feminine for my taste, but I like it. I like the pastels. I don't know, I think it's cool. I don't really know what shoes I would wear with it. Maybe my white docks or maybe some Mary Janes. Ooh, if I had like the low Doc Martin Mary Janes, that would look so good with them, but I don't and I'm not gonna buy them just for that. I don't know, we'll see how I end up styling it. If I do a outfit video, I'll probably add that in there because it's such an easy outfit and it's not super dressy, but you could dress it up. Definitely a day dress. I think it'll be cute for spring. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Next up, this is from Depop. Yes. Okay, these are either gonna hit or they're gonna miss because they'll be too big for me, but we'll see. Does that have a no? No. See, the Depop girls, they just throw it in the package. They're not doing what the Poshmark moms can. But look at these pants, bruh. First off, brand new with tags. Vintage Y2K looking tag. Has a little alien on it. Look at these, bruh. Super wide leg. <laughs> they're just covering me. Super wide leg, raver kind of pants. Very lightweight, parachute kind of material. They also have toggles on the bottom. Bottom, so I could cinch the bottom so you can see my shoes and then they have these netted pockets on the side Just dope like so cool. So so cool I took a risk ordering these because I got them from a seller with zero sales zero reviews But they're fire bruh and the waist is fully adjustable So I won't have to really worry too much about them fitting or not I could always adjust the waist just fire just epic just awesome big old pockets on the back I'm gonna have so much fun with these I think they'll look good with my Walter Van Buren doc shirt all over print that I wore the other day I'll insert a picture I think they'll also look good with my Unifibis just peeking out the bottom these are just everything and they were so cheap I think they were like $18 plus shipping like <laughs> What? So yeah, I hit the jackpot with these babies for show. I've been looking for parachute pants OD and these, these are exactly what I could have wanted. I actually ordered another pair of parachute pants on eBay. I'll show you those after I finish unboxing everything else because I unboxed them already. I opened them yesterday just cause I really wanted to see how they look but these are way better than them. These are just epic, they're everything. The last item I have to open for this haul and then I'll show you the parachute pants I got that I already opened. This is from Poshmark as well. Well, see, I told you, I went crazy on Poshmark, low-key, as I should. You have to look a lot harder on Poshmark, but I feel like it's worth it. Okay, super excited for this. Should I talk about it, or do you just want to see it? You just want to see it. I know you. Yes! Okay. <gasps> It's like just perfect. It's exactly the kind of cut I was hoping. Yes, yes, yes. It does have that whole, it's fine. Anyways, let me actually talk to you guys. I got this Komodo biker style jacket on Poshmark and guess how much I paid for it. $35 plus shipping, I think. But like, literally everything. So I came across the idea of getting a leather jacket of this style, cause I really wanted one for the season. And I have a leather jacket already with a huge star on the back and it's pink and tan. And it's by this brand, Wilson's Leather. And I just really love it. And I also got that one for pretty cheap on Mercari. But I was like, okay, it's real leather. I'm familiar with the brand. I feel like I should be able to find a cheap one online. I found the same model of jacket for $82 hundred dollars from a couple other sellers on Poshmark so I liked all of them I scrolled through all the list things I liked all of them then I found this one for 35 it does have a little hole on the back but I feel like I could either a patch it up with a little leather patch or something or glue to just seal it or just leave it alone because I really don't care so I found this one I added it to my likes I thought about it for a day then I went back to purchase it and the seller raised the price it was listed at $30 originally I think they raised it to $90 so I was like what's going on girl and I was like could you change the price back like I was about to buy it she was like send an offer I sent an offer she sent one back for like $70. Like it was $30 yesterday. Don't play me. So then I was like, okay, never mind. I should have just bought it yesterday, but thanks anyways. And then she was like, okay, send the offer again and I'll accept it. So I sent the offer for 35. She accepted it. We live, we laugh, we love. Yas. I really want to wear it with this top button buckled here and then the bottom open. This is how I see it. Worn like this, little white tank top underneath, maybe kind of sheer. And then some jorts, not super long jorts, but above the knee, a little bit fitted George. White socks, platform dock, sneaker type shoes. That's a perfect summer fit. More spring than summer, but like that's perfect. Cool pair of sunglasses. With my hair like this especially, I feel like it'll just give, you know? Maybe even a little bandana. Yes, like, 
yeah so yeah i'm glad i finally found a leather jacket of that variety that i liked because i've had it in my mind to get one for a minute but now i know i'll actually wear it and i have plans on how i want to wear it so yeah that's everything i have to unbox but i do have these parachute pins i want to show you from ebay and i want to hear your thoughts on them because i don't know how to feel about them here they are i will try them on of course i think i have to try them on for you to get what i'm saying but i got them on ebay they're military over pants snow pants you wear them in the snow in the military to like insulate you but this is what inspired all these parachute pants that are coming out now these are actually army surplus i saw them on ebay a while ago and i was like eh i'll just try to find some actual parachute pants and i have i found a couple pairs but parachute pants i'm looking for are only becoming harder to find and i wanted a white pair so i was just like you know what let me just try with these either they'll be great or they won't and they weren't too expensive i think they were under 30 dollars but they have these dongles here that reminds me of what you pull a curtain with on the end of the ties at the bottom and on the waist So maybe I'll try to remove those or something. Also, they're not real pants They have a hole in the pocket They don't have an actual pocket because it's made for if you wear other pants underneath You can slip your hands in and put stuff in that pocket and also biggest of all is that they're sheer You can kind of see through them. So here's what I was thinking I'll try them on and you can see what I'm talking about but I was thinking maybe just wearing leggings underneath in the summer though that's gonna be really hot or you would tell me if they look too sheer it might not pick up on camera how they really look but yeah I was also thinking I could possibly dye them and then they'd look less sheer and less I guess cheapy they're not really cheap but they're just kind of odd they're 100% polyester and you can kind of tell and I don't know something about them I don't know if they fall how I want them to but I don't know if it's just in my head I really need to hear what you think of these I don't know if they're still in stock they only have this size left in stock i've slowly seen less and less sizes be available but if they do happen to still be in stock i will link them down in the description on ebay yes yes they came from sweden or something they're like swedish military utility wear gotta love it and then lastly i got something that i wore today in a picture i was saving them to open for this video but then this morning i wanted to take a picture in them so i just opened them there are these socks from lamb cake on instagram and depop they're super cute you print it all over I bought them on Depop they were kind of pricey but I'm fine with the price I paid because they have a bunch of different prints all over them and I think they're super cute and they're pretty good quality at first I bought them and I wasn't sure how I was gonna style them but when I was getting dressed today not this outfit I was getting dressed and I thought of the perfect outfit so I tore open the package and I was like yeah so yeah I just think they're super cute here's some of the prints on them these cats and apples, some bows. This is my favorite, this measuring flask. I should totally know the name of this. I'm literally a medical student, but yeah. It's giving women in STEM. <laughs> These are just so damn cute. An older lady in my apartment building, we were in the elevator together this morning when I was going down to take pictures with my tripod and everything. And her dogs were just barking at me in the elevator, her little chihuahua. But she was like, oh, those socks are too cute. And I was like, oh, aren't they, girl? Like, yeah they are anyways was thinking of gatekeeping them but whatever support a small artist support a small business i'm trying to order a custom from her and she won't answer my dm so girl if you see this answer my dm because i want to order more stuff from you and that's all that was a whole haul the whole haul that wasn't even funny thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing some of the stuff i bought recently and stuff i'm gonna be wearing for the spring and summer please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe so that you can see me again please please subscribe stay a while it's free we live we laugh we love and that's all stay safe stay well take it easy and slay okay bye laters <laughs>